Buenas noches, buenas noches. Hello, hello. Good evening. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, good evening. Hello, sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness, my, my Zoom. Did you guys have any problems with Zoom today? No? No, I haven't. No, no. Okay. It, that was really weird. It, it kept telling me that I had another session that was open. And so I couldn't join. And even though I, I asked it to join, it wouldn't let me join. It said that I had to close my my previous session. And I was like, I don't have any anymore. So sorry about that. How's everybody doing? Long weekend. Welcome. Day one, week number four. Almost yeah. done. Almost done. How is the platform going for you guys? Very well. Okay, did you guys make it to section 4.0? Uh, no, I didn't. No, no I didn't. No, not, not yet? Okay, all right. Remember, you have this week for section four and section five. So, books or books or con eso. All right. Let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. And then we'll go from there. Hello, hello, happy Monday, happy Monday. A ver, eh. vamos a saludar aquí. Friend Ivan, always a pleasure. Paco, good seeing you. Good to see Diana. You, Diana, hello. Melissa, hello, hello. Hola. Hola, hola. All right, so here it is. And let's see. Well, we left off a little bit on 4.0 last week. It wasn't really that much. There is an introduction, there's like an introduction lesson 4.0. And then there's a, a quick video for vocabulary, feelings and gestures. And then after that is the lesson objective 4.2. And then you come into the videos. All of them have to do with conversation, pretty much. We go into 4.4 lesson objective and then 4.5 of models and adverbs. The knowledge check, 47 permission, prohibition, and obligation, which is the fourth video down the line, they all have to do with conversations, all right? So I wanted to start our day by talking to you guys about the platform, checking to see how you guys are doing with the platform, right? Really happy if you guys are moving along. As long as you guys are moving along, we're good. Sorry about that. Okay. No word. In section 4.3, we start off with a conversation which has to do with have you met Rosh? Okay. And if you guys have noticed, this whole module has to do with conversation, how to get better with conversation, how to get good at having a conversation. And when we talk about conversation is, is two ways, right? One person does the talking and then the other one answers and it's back and forth. And so that's usually what we're looking for. And when you see these videos, and when you guys see the videos with conversations, you guys will see that there's a sentence for one person and then the second person comes in right away, 
right? And says something, no, I have it. And then you continue on, right? So for example, here in this one, Ron starts off and Mem Emily um, answers and then Ron continues and then it's Emily and then it's Ron and then Emily and then Peter comes in and then it goes back to Ron. So the idea is that when you're having a conversation, there, there, there can't be too many silent moments, right? Silence is bad. You you can't stay silent. You you're gonna have to keep going with that conversation and asking little questions. You know, it could be really small questions. So, with that in mind, hello, Glenda. Welcome, welcome, welcome. With that in mind, Thank I you. wanted I wanted to start off with a conversation. Okay. okay, so this is what we're going to start off. Uh, we're going to break. We're going to go into breakout rooms. We're going to wait a little bit longer, but I want to tell you guys what we're going to do before and then kind of move into that. The conversation for today is about two friends. We're, we are already friends. We already know each other. We already know you know, the basic information about us. Now, I had a friend that I knew, and I want to tell you guys, I knew him for about six years. And le conocía el, el, el apodo. I knew his nickname. Le decían Pupa. Now, in the six years that I knew him, I never once called him anything else but Pupa. And everybody, everybody here, the same thing, right? Everybody, Pupa, everybody. He sent me a text message and he put his real man, he, he put his real name. And I didn't know who it was. And so I blocked him. Right. I said, well, I don't want to deal with this. You know, I blocked him. So he sent a message to another friend. And the other friend came over here and told me, hey, Pupu is trying to contact you. How come you blocked him? And I said, Pupu hasn't, you know, he didn't write to me. He hasn't written. And they said, and they said, yeah, he did. He sent you a message. You know, his name is Armando. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't know that. Six years I knew that guy. And I never knew his real name. Do you guys have any friends like that? Do you guys have any friends? Yes. Or what if you know, what if you know, like the first name, but you don't know, like the full name? Sorry about that. Show of hands. Okay. All right. So I don't want you guys to go through the same thing that happened to me. I want you guys to be able to know your friends by name. And by this time, we already know, right? So this is what we're going to talk about. I want to know. When you guys are having your conversations, I want you to ask for second names, like that. If somebody calls them by a nickname, uh, claro, and, and mm -hmm. if you wanna share it, you can. If there is no nicknames, don't worry about it, right? There's no nicknames, and so, a nickname could be something so simple as my middle name is Carlos and they call me Carlitos. Carlitos. And then so when they ask for me, they say, Como esta Carlitos? <laughs> and it's kind of weird because I, I, I don't really use it, you know? So it could be something like that as well. I want you guys to follow that up with how was your day and this is pretty simple right how was your day but i don't want you guys to stay quiet 
I want you guys to keep asking. So for example, when somebody says my day was good, I want you guys to ask why was it good? Okay, why was it good? Because it was, there's people that say, because it was. I want you guys to follow it up and say, tell me. Why was your day so good? What was the best part? Okay. What happened that made it good? And so all of these questions, you guys can do it for bad. Why was it bad? Tell me, why was your day so bad? What was the worst part? That one changes a little bit, right? What was the worst part? <laughs> Sorry, part. Okay, whether it was good or bad, I wanna know why. And if it was bad, we also wanna know why. And I want you guys to also ask, could you have made it better? Or how could If it was a bad day, how could you have made it better? And how can I help in making it better? And that should be the final thing. Is there anything that I can do? Okay. So really simple. Who would like to volunteer and do this quick little answer, question and answer exercise real quick? This is a real conversation. And you guys can either an ask the questions from here or you guys can answer the questions. So you can either ask me the questions or I can ask you and you answer. And we could do it either way. Who would like to, who would like to, and, and this is only a test, right? So it could be completely, it could be completely fictional. It could be completely fake. Who would like to help me with this conversation? Ivan. Mm -hmm. Ivan, Guy, is that you, Guy? Ivan says he volunteers if there's I nobody think, else. Uh, go ahead, Ivan, you can do it. All right, all yeah. right. All right, Guy, thank you very much. Ivan, you ready? Sure, man. All right, so here we go. I, the questions are like right there in our chat. So let me see if I can make this. I don't think I can make it any bigger, but no, I can't. Okay, but I can follow that from here. All right, so let's go. All right. Hey, Ivan, you know, I've never asked you, um, do you have a second name? Like, what's yes. your full name? It's Ivan Alejandro Herrera Estrada. Alex, do, you, do they call you Alex? Do you have like a nickname of, of, that they call you by or is it just either Ivan or Alejandro? Not really. Usually people just call me by my first name, Ivan. Ivan, okay, all right. Well, you know, I, I can do that though. I can do that. All right, that's good to know though. So Ivan Alejandro, not Alexander. Nope, Alejandro. Alejandro, all right, good, man. Okay, uh, well, you know, how was your day? It was good. It was just relaxed at house, at my house. 
Oh, well, that's nice. So why was it so relaxed? Because I didn't have so much to do. I have finished some projects and now I can relax. Well, that's really good to see. That, that's a really good to hear and really good to see. Because let me tell you that you look very relaxed today, Ivan. You look yeah. very relaxed. And I think it had to do with, you know, with your day being so good. Now, do you think that it could have been better? Could you have made your day better? Yes. Maybe at the beach with some fish or something. Ah, that's the, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, do you like to go fishing or or do you just like to eat the fish? I haven't gone, so I don't know. Maybe I would like to do it. Someday. Yeah, yeah, that sounds really nice, man. Hey, so, uh, Ivan, real quick, I just wanted to know. You know, I I really you know I really care about what you know what's going on. You said that you had a really relaxed day, right? And you yeah. said that you could have made it better by going to the beach. So tell me, my friend, what stopped you from going to the beach? Well, maybe the, the pandemic that we are in. <laughs> I, 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 don't... I don't want I don't want to, to get the virus and con how would be contagiar? Can you could you could say I don't want to spread the virus. You could say spread the virus. You know, uh, let's see, contagious is one word, but, you know, we, I don't want to say, you know, you, that's a good question, Ivan. Like, how do you say contagiar? Yeah, I haven't what? used it. Yeah, um, I mean, spread the virus, and then the virus can be contagious. Wow, that's a very good one. I think we have to look that up. Yeah, yeah. Contagiar. Porque I saw there was a uh, there was a movie called Contagion. Contagion, I think it was called. But that's not how you say it either. No, no. That's good, man. Let's let's find out. I'll find out. How do you say it? Con I used to to use reverso translator. And how do you contagion? I saw that there's a movie called like that. It says infect, transmit. Infect, yeah, that's it. Infect or transmit, yeah, that's it. You got it, Ivan, that's it. Well, there you go. All right, well, that's nice, man. That's nice to hear. Now, what if I told you, Ivan, that I have like a little ranchito oh. where there's nobody there? Would, would that help? Maybe. Yeah. I think it could help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the whole class can join us. In yeah, Obama, we, we, party, party. we can make a, a party after the mm -hmm. course. Sí. So look at no no cell phones so that nobody can record el teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ya yeah, yeah, con dos aguas de coco loco. <laughs> el teacher no, gets chicha. a little crazy. Yeah. All right. That's it, Ivan. Ivan. All right. So we can swap it around, Ivan. And then so we swap it around, right? And then, so if you see the questions here, yep. you can you can go ahead. Let's see. Let's swap. Okay, teacher. So I always have called you teacher, but do you have a name? I do, uh, Roberto Carlos. <laughs> okay. So your second name is Carlos, okay. right? Carlos, Carlos. And then de cariño, me dicen Carlitos. Okay, that's your nickname. That's my, you could say that that's my nickname. Now, everybody around calls me either Robert or teacher. So that's totally okay. Whatever you want to call me, it's fine. Okay, but that's ironic because I have heard you are tall. Yeah. Carita. Yeah. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Imagine that. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, how was your day today? My day was in... Ah, uh, I'm going to say that it was meh. Okay. It was so-so. It was okay. okay. Why would you say it was so-so and not good? You know, I, I've been feeling a little bit sick, and I had to go to the east. And so because of that, my day was meh. You know, it, it wasn't just me feeling sick. But just having to go to the Seguro, it was just, I don't know, it's its just really bad. I think that every time I go to the Seguro, I feel, i you know, you feel 
Well, I went and I was feeling a little worst. bad. Okay. Uh, but then when I left, I was feeling worse. Oh, wow. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so I think that that's why my day was meh. Yeah. It was, was there a, a lot of traffic? You know, it wasn't the traffic. I don't think. I. Th it was a mixture of the sickness, the heat because it's really hot in in Apopa, okay. and a little bit of the traffic. So I think it was like a mixture of all three items. Okay. Wow. Well, the situation was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was. And was there something good in your day? Or? Yeah, well, you know, it started out pretty good. I, I, you know, I got up, you know, did the meditation thing. Um, I was feeling really good. Uh, so that portion of the day was good. Everything else, so-so. Mm, okay. So would you say there were something that could have made your day better no, nah. you know, you know, I think I, I, you know, I was thinking about going to instead of going to the Seguro, I wanted to go to the Pro Familia. So, uh, you know, I, I was having second thoughts, you know, about mm -hmm. going to okay. Pro Familia, okay. and then I decided for the Seguro. So, you know, I'm thinking that maybe I should have gone to Pro Familia. And so, I, you know, I think that would have been the way to go. Okay. And is there anything I can do to make it better? Well, you know what? The fact that you asked me, Ivan, that made it enough already. Thank you so much. Okay. We, we can have some pupusas maybe later. There we go. Well, no, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm dying, Ivan. But yes, oh, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ivan. All right. Okay. So there's a few things, right? So when you say is, that is something that is very Salvadorian. Yeah. Right? Now, you can say hospital. So, for example, if you're talking to somebody who's not from El Salvador and you want to let them know that you're going to the seguro, you don't want to say is or seguro. You want to say hospital. Okay, so yeah, you you guys have to hospital. You have to sound out the a, the the J. The J sounds. I want to say that the J the the H has the that H. very J sound. Hospital. 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 It has to like sound that. Jocote. Like jocote. You have to sound it out. Hospital. Very very. Now, there's other people that say. I had a hospice visit or I've been in hospice. You can also say it like that. So it's either hospital or hospice, pero tienen que ver cómo está formulada esa sentence so that you guys can use it. Um, the other hospital that I mentioned was Pro Familia. You guys cannot change the names. So there's a few things you don't change from English to Spanish, right? If your name is Roberto in Spanish, in English, it will be exactly the same. Your name is Roberto. People change it to try to make it a little bit more Americanized, but it doesn't work that way. If your name is Robert, it stays Robert. If your name is Roberto, then it's Roberto. Same thing goes to companies. Uh, si usted trabaja para at and that's why we say AT&T, right? When we say it in Spanish, because it doesn't change. You guys cannot change the company's name into Spanish. So that means that the hospital's name is Pro Familia. And I cannot change it to Pro Family, right? Because the hospital's name is Pro Familia and it's a business. So you guys have to mention it like that. Now, you can Americanize it a little bit and you can say Pro Familia, <laughs> but then it's going to sound kind of weird, right? But but there's people that do it. Um, I went to the hotel, uh, the princess, right? Some people will say it. Well, princess is princess in Spanish or in English, so you, it, it really shouldn't matter. But that's that's usually how it goes with names. It usually how it goes with businesses. Um, they usually keep the same names, okay? All right. So what is it that we're doing? We're doing a conversation we're asking how your day is. And um, let me see how I can do it. 
Um, let me see if we can post. We have Mario. Welcome. Welcome, Mario. I think Mario joined, but everybody else was okay. It was already hello, here. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, Mario, estamos, estamos siguiendo la conversación. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You got it. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do breakout rooms. And if you guys can help me out, let me see here. Let me, let me post the questions that we're asking. Let me see here. We're doing second name. I think we can do like that. Let me see if it lets me. Eh, it's going to look kind of weird, but we're doing something like that. You already know somebody's first name. We got the second name, nickname, if there is any. How was your day? Why was it good? Tell me, why was your day so good? Why was your day so bad? What was the best part of the day? What was the bad part of the day? What happened that made it good or what happened that made it bad? Okay, that's what we're doing. All right, all right, everybody. Doing breakout rooms. Some levels that everything works out, right, right, right. Let me go ahead, let me go, let me, let me stop sharing. And here's the breakout rooms. We're uneven? That's weird. Let me see. Yeah, we're a little bit uneven. That's okay, though. All right. Let me see who. Ivan, you're going to get a room all to yourself, and I'll join you as soon as I get over there. All right? Let me see. Who else? Did we did we lose anybody? No. No, we're, I think we're set. All right, go ahead and go ahead and enter the rooms. No, Paco le quedó. Paco, me espera ahí. No, what happened? Paco was unassigned. Let me see, Paco. Let me move. Paco le va a tocar solito. But don't worry about it, Paco. I'll meet you there in just a second. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Paco. If you want, you can stay right here with me. Stay right here, and if we can, we'll do the exercise. If we can't, you can turn off your video. Oh, okay. Yeah, turn off your video, and then that way you can have only like the audio. Hey, teacher. Yeah, here we go, Paco. I can hear you. Okay, uh, I want to apologize because I'm having some... Uh, uh, no. No, connection. don't worry about it, Paco. I know that it has nothing to do with you, so no need for apologizing. Thank you, though. How are you doing, Paco? How was your day today? Well, I think I'm doing okay. How was your day? You know, it, it was actually, uh, you know, it was it was all right. You know, I had to. I was telling Ivan that I had to go to the Seguro. That was true, actually. That was true. I had to go to the Seguro. And so, you know, going to the Seguro is really bad, man. Like right now, it's really scary. So, it, you know, it, it made me feel kind of bad. But other than that, I would say that it was okay. How about you? Why, why was it not like the best day ever, Paco? Do you think you could have? You, do you think you could have made it better? Was there like anything that you could control to make it better? Don't worry about it, Paco. Don't worry about it. Look, I send you a message. Wait for me, Paco. Wait for me right here. I'm gonna go check on the other guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I... No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Let me go check real quick. Okay. 
Okay. No worries, no worries. I'll be right back, Paco. Don't go anywhere. Okay, okay. Currently, I I am in San Miguel, but I'm studying in San Salvador. But for Which the one? Some, for, um, in Universidad de Salvador, oh, okay, because okay. in here in San in San Miguel, uh, there is no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I my is no in here, so I had to move to San Salvador. But <laughs> with this, for the pandemic, I uh -huh. had to return to San Miguel, and I was mm -hmm. taking uh, classes online. So are you happy here or you were better <laughs> in San Salvador? I miss my friends, but I'm happy here too because I, I am with my parents. And when I, I am studying in San Salvador, I can see them so seguido. Some... Change of company because of me, because I, I saw a package, a bundle of, of cable and internet. Um, that's nice. Yeah. So, um, what what happened to make it bad? Sorry. What happened to make it bad? So if I make it bad, yes. Mm, I understand. I, I don't understand you. Sorry. What what happened to make make it bad? Something special? No. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's uh, well, I think that I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Doesn't happen anything. <laughs> no, wait, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's let's try it out. Y en español, como so Melissa's question was, what happened that made it bad? Yes. Yeah. Um, don't so have you, anything if I'm bad. <laughs> no pasó nada. No pasó nada. So you, so you had a good day, Mario. No, there was a, like a, I told that I told her that was a little bit stressful because because oh. I haven't seen her and so because you have to sell all the days and so that is a little bit stressful because you. You find a lot of people that don't want to buy something or do want to buy cable and internet at home. That's yeah, okay. Well, that that's it. That'll that'll qualify, Mario. You know when. So what made it so bad? Well, you know that I I have to sell, and all these people keep telling you no, and that's yeah. kind of bad. <laughs> so all right, all right. Continue. Remember, don't don't give up. That that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea, right? Um, you can tell one another, uh, please repeat that. Or can you, what, you know, can you tell me that one more time? And if that doesn't work, you guys can say it in Spanish and then help each other out. And how do you say it in English? So, you know, you can also do that. That's okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, teacher. Wait, where am I? I'm lost. No, here I am. Right. I don't know. What should I cook? <laughs> And do you like cook? I, do you yes, like cooking? I love, yes, I love to cook. Oh, I love cooking, but you, I have to decide what uh, chicken or meat, or I have to to think a lot. And it's to take a decision is a is a worm. <laughs> yes, I know because uh, sometimes uh, you can. You can think a little a little bit what to what to cook. Yes, yes. yes that part of better. the day, to, that, that that part of the day can be a stress, uh, stress, stressed, really stressed, stressful. It's, yes, it's very important because uh, of my health. If if I decide to to eat a hamburger, for example. My cholesterol is high. If I decide to to eat pupusas, my cholesterol is going high. Uh, yes, uh, that's.
No, no, now I can't get out. Whoa. New knowledge from time to time. What about you? Um, I really like spending my time relaxing. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, as I remember, you like anime. Yeah, so maybe I love that's anime. Your, that's your hobby. Yeah, that's my hobby. Do you um, have any favorite or anyone? It's good. Favorites? I think. No, I don't have a favorite. It's no, my pleasure. Which was a beautiful pleasure to to know you a little bit more. Yes, that's nice. And you live with your with your parents or your? Yes, with my parents and my brother. Oh. And where do you start? Where do you start to study English? Actually. Mm, like 10 years ago <laughs> in the high school. Ah, okay. Yeah. And do you, do, do, do you try to get it again because you want to make a... Do... No, Paco. I couldn't say Paco. There he is. Paco! <laughs> Good to see you, Paco. Good to see you. I see that you're already here in the room. We're gonna okay. close the rooms. We're can gonna close the room. Now? I can hear you, Pablo. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day. Oh, you know, Pablo, we forgot to. You know what? Hold that. Hold that thought. Okay. All right. We're, we're gonna talk about that right now. All right. Let me go ahead and close the rooms. Let's go. Let's get out of okay. here. All right. Hey, Paco. By the way, um, go ahead. Did you have you ever like? I know that you had your shuttle service. Mm -hmm. Does that help you with your English, or has that helped you? Uh, yes, that helped me a lot. Okay. Actually, I I have been working uh, for about uh, ten years. Okay, and I do have many uh, uh, many U.S. Uh, customers. So okay. I do practice my English very often. Not now because the 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 pandemic, right. but but before that, I, I used to talk a lot with uh, different people from China, people from India, more people from Canada. Okay. And, well, well, you know the U.S. has a variety of uh, people from Europe and from some other uh, countries. So. I do practice a lot. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I can hear when you pronounce your words. And, and let me tell you, uh, Paco, I, I spoke, well, I've had a couple of friends who have been from India and they have these really heavy accents. I don't know if you've noticed that now that you tell me, but people from India. And so one day I asked them, I said, if you have known English your whole life, how come you still have the accent? And you know what the guy told me? He said, what? That, that's what makes me Indian, my accent, and I will wow. never lose it. And I said, well, that's, that's fantastic. That sounds great. So yeah. let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, Paco, your English pronunciation is very good. Um, Thank you. I, I would recommend, you know, more conversation, more conversation. 
para que no para que no se escuchen the little stops you know uh what, what you want to do is you want to just kind of keep going with it you know keep 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 talking keep throw the words out there because your pronunciation of the words is really good okay yeah i i, I really uh i really i would like to improve my fluency because that's there we go. what i yeah what that's my feeling that my fluency is kind of slow so i would like to improve that Right, right. Paco, let me tell you in the right track, my brother. Let, let's go talk about Valentine. Thank let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. All the people in the principal room. <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I saw that closing rooms, I saw, I saw that everybody's going to go to the principal room. Yes, me too, but it's what happened <laughs> and i'm uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry okay hello everybody hello. all right we got you we got you all right okay so now i went into your conversations and let me tell you well done now it gets a little complicated when it's a brand new person that you talk to because you feel like maybe uh here we go again right but i want you guys to know that that's how it is in the everyday world when you guys begin to work uh for example me working me working in a call center me working in a call center every time i met somebody it was the same questions all over again but now i had to think about how am I going to react to this person who's asking me these questions for the first time? Yeah, for me, it was 10,000 times. But for that person that I was meeting, it was the first time that they asked. So you know what? I, you know, it's, it's not fair for me to be like really mean or not to be able to have that conversation. So every time they would ask me, you know, it would be like the same, the same question. So how long have you been here? You know, and, and then I would always answer the same way. I've been here 10 years, you know, and I love it. And then they would say, do you still love it? And I, and I would answer, yes, I absolutely love it. You are going to eventually love it as well, right? Because I, you know, I like everything about it. Or they would ask me specifics. What is it that you like about it? And then I would kind of follow up with, I like it because there's air conditioning all the time. And, and I love it. I love air conditioning, you know? And so you get accustomed to these and you have to be able to kind of just, you know, you know that they're going to ask you for your name. If you are going into a job interview, they will ask you the same things. Why do you want to work here? Asiva. And you wish you could tell them, porque me estoy muriendo de hambre. Right? We, we, we can. We can say things like that. Why do you want to work here? Because... I need the money. Yeah, you well, you, you you don't really answer in that way, but you wish you could. And so it's always kind of like the same question. So what's your name? And are you from San Salvador, for example? That's another big one, right? Are you from San Salvador? And then you're like, no, you know, I'm from, you know, let's Ivan's case. And, I, and then now, Melissa, right, Ivan's case, I'm from San Miguel. And then people will always ask you the same things about San Miguel. Is it hot there? I asked that. Do you guys remember how I asked you, Ivan? Is it hot in San Miguel? Yeah, it's hot in San Miguel, man. It's never been anything but hot in San Miguel. However, people will ask you these questions over and over and over again. And so all you have to do is kind of have that in mind. What are they going to ask me? People will say, uh, how old are you? If you look really young, you have to be prepared for, oh my God, you look so young. Or the other way around, if you're young and you look a little bit older, people will also tell you that. They'll say, oh my God, you look like you're 30, right? When in reality, you're like 18 or 19. People will say that not because they, you know, not because they don't like you or because they want to make you feel bad. People will say because it's an automatic reaction, right? Um, when somebody says, I'm from here, they also want to, you know, kind of bring that up. Um, I am from Acajutla. 
you know, it's the beach. So what is the follow-up question that people usually ask? Do you go to the beach a lot? Oh my God. Of course I go to the beach a lot. I live there. You know, I paso por la playa. I, I, I have to go to the beach, but you have to be careful on how you answer. Right. So it's always, you know, answer the questions. If it's a really, think of it as if people are asking you for more information, usually they will ask questions that are formatted a little bit different. So for example, do you like it? You know, you say, I live in Acajutla. Do you like it there? That's usually a yes or no questions. Yes, I like it very much. But people could say, well, how do you feel about living in Acajutla? Oh, that is called an open-ended question, which means that what they're doing is they want you to talk about everything you can about Acajutla, okay? So now let's do the exercise as a group, right? How was your Valentine's, everybody? How did it go for Valentine's Day? Now, I'm going to start at the very top. Mario, Mario, talk to me, brother. Soldado caído? <laughs> Well, I pass all the day sleep to be sensory teacher. I want to have a little bit. Uh, I want to rest all the day. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. So not soldado caído. <laughs> not, oh. not vivo y coleando. Soldado, what do they call it? Soldado triunfador. No, soldado. Well, that's what they say, man. Soldado and... Victoria, victory. Melissa, it was a sleep soldier. Melissa, how was your Valentine's? <laughs> how did it go? That's very good. Was it good or bad? Good, like, very good. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, now here's the follow up question Why, Melissa? Because I went to the beach. Oh, nice, nice. You did a little bit better than Ivan. Ivan just wanted to go to the beach. There you go. Ivan, how was your how was your Valentine's? It was good. I had some pupusas. Now, Ivan, I have been in El Salvador for a really long time, and it hasn't been till you know lately that everybody started saying in San Miguel they eat pupusas with salsa negra y mayonesa is yeah. that is that true ivan it you can compare to the curtido from campestre pollo campestre oh so it, it's the yeah. same curtido we use it with pupusas and the salsa negra it's like sweet okay oh uh, well, yeah well, yeah that's it not, makes that's sense not, it yeah, makes sense when, when, when you taste it it's nice it's also and, nice yeah all yeah. right all right all right so now how did it go for Valentine's, Ivan? I was just it, had pupusas with But was family. that good or bad? Normal. I Normal. Say good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Paco, how was your Valentine, sir? Well, my Valentine was okay. We share with family. We went to a place near home, and we just swam uh, the pool. And then later on, by evening, we came and get some uh, fried chicken at Don Pollo and brought it home just for a quick nice. dinner. You know? Nice, that? nice, Paco. That'll do. That'll do. You know what I do is I buy one piece of chicken and a tortilla. And usually I'll have that, man. Don Pollo <laughs> is the best for that. Yeah. Diane, bienvenida, Diane. Diana Celeste, how was your Valentine's? I, uh, I spend my time with my parents, okay. actually. That's and nice. That's nice. Yeah, my mom ordered food, and that's all. I ha We have a, a time to, for the family. Okay. We'll accept that. We'll, we'll accept that as a... Glenda, how was your Valentine's, Mrs.? It was, it was great. It was great? Why was it great? <laughs> Because I ate pupusas. Yeah. We, love, we love it. We love it. Glenda, thank you so much. And last but not least, mi amigo Guille, soldado caído o soldado victorioso? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
there was a victory. No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I just uh, had Chinese food for for lunch, and then uh, I went to the, the I went to Plaza Dundo to to have a cup to have a cup of coffee. That'll there, do. Yes, and and I was re relaxed in the, in the afternoon and yes it was nice that'll yes. work sir that'll work well yeah yes. you know that was and pretty what good. about you teacher you know what soldado victorioso compadres <laughs> hasta good la victoria yes, thank you for asking all thank right you. ladies and gentlemen so as you guys can see, section four is all about conversation. And so we're going to keep going with conversations because I want you guys to, to get used to these. We haven't gotten to the point where I sit there and I listen to you guys go back and forth, but we will. And I want you guys to know that what we're going to do is we're gonna, we want to work on how to pronounce those words, okay? To make it a little bit friendlier, to make it more you know, fluent, and for you guys to sound out those words. All right, I'm going to give you guys back a couple of minutes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll keep going tomorrow. Don't forget about the platform. Make sure you guys complete it. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night.